honey, I am sorry. I am so late. Wow, you you look exhausted, sweetie. Collier insisted I get one more proposal out tonight. I seriously have never worked for a more demanding employer in my entire life. I wish I wish I could support you and you could quit. But the garage didn't work out, and I can't get arrested job-wise, so uh heck, I was thinking about putting out my own shingle. Going into legal practice for yourself. Yeah, but the only hitch is. Who would hire me now that Teresa's blackballing my name far and wide? It is not your fault, it is hers. Is Janie awake? No, honey, she's not. She's oh. asleep. Winnie the Pooh and I put her to bed hours ago. You know, I really hate this. I really miss spending time with the two of you at night. It's not gonna be like this for much longer, I promise you that. Honey, I don't know how or when this ends. As long as Teresa is in our lives, she's going to make things as difficult for us as she possibly can. I hear you talk about Teresa that way. Oh, God, if you're going to defend her... No, I'm, no, no, I'm not going to defend her. I'm saying I just wish you weren't thinking about her all the time. Huh. It might be easier if you would do the same. Gwen. Ethan, I'm a big girl. I mean, how many times do I need to find you two in a compromising situation? I explained what happened in the garage, right? Look, I'm not saying that you initiate these little meetings, but they keep happening. And really, I mean, how do you think it makes me feel to find you in her arms over and over again? Even though you know how much I love you? She's going to be a part of our lives as long as we're here, and there is no getting around that. Look, you know what I wish? I wish we could go somewhere far away. <laughs> When I think of how close we came to moving to India, I... Just... Well, you know, we might someday, if not India, somewhere else. But m more importantly, I have to tell you something. I, uh, I cooked. Whoa! I made dinner. Are you kidding? No. You cooked? I cooked, and it really wasn't that hard. Really? I just followed the directions on the soup can. Oh, the soup can! Yeah. Wow. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I got, a, I got a recipe out of one of your cookbooks. <laughs> and all right, I... I substituted a few ingredients that I didn't have, but I think it looks great. That was very sweet of you. Mm. And you know what? I would eat anything at this point, even my mother's feather boa. No, don't eat her feather boa. That's her favorite accessory. Don't do it. Yeah, in and out of bed. Ooh. Oh, gross. Yuck. 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 Yeah. Mm. Mm. Hi. Hi. Maybe dinner can wait a minute. Oh, I thought you were uh, famished. I am. <laughs> Have a seat, young lady. Okay. Oh, this looks good. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Well? Honey, you must be really proud of yourself. Yeah? Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. It's not bad for me. That's disgusting. Oh my gosh. You know what I did? I, I substituted the um, milk for yogurt. Oh, that's, that's disgusting. I'm sorry, I'm an idiot, I can't cook, and I'm gonna order out next time. No, that's no, what I'll no, do. no, honey. It is the thought that counts, and I love you for it. I'm sorry. It's okay. Here. Uh oh. Don't get it. Please, please don't get honey, it. Honey, it's Louise. I better get it. Luis, what's up? Does it have to be tonight? Okay, no, I'll, uh, sure, I'll see you soon. What? He didn't give me any details, but he says he needs my help right away, and it's urgent, so... Do you mind? I mean, I'll be right back. Okay, okay. I'll be here. Okay. Oh, oh hi. Hi, yourself. Where are you going? Um, uh, actually, I'll tell you later, but she would love to talk to you. I'll see you later. Okay. Hey. I am so glad you're here. Mommy, what's going on? I just left Louise. Well, that's weird. He just called. Ethan's on his way to go see him. I wonder what he wanted. I guess we'll find out what happened. What I've been trying to avoid. I told Louise that he's the love of my life, not Chris. Oh. I'm pregnant with Chris's child. I'm married to Chris. 
And his little boy, James, thinks of me as his mother. You're a family. So how do I, someone who suffered growing up without a real mother and father, just turn around and abandon Chris and James because I love Louise? Gwen, what am I gonna do? I love Louise so much, it hurts. First of all, your hormones are going crazy because you're pregnant. That's not why I'm upset, Gwen. I know it's not. I love Luis with all my heart and soul. I think about him every waking second of the day. But I thought you decided that you were gonna stay with Chris. Look, I know how you feel about Luis. But honey, you seem so sure that you wanted to honor your marriage vows. It's more than just the vows. Chris and I are a family now, and this baby I'm carrying deserves to have a mother and father. Well, what about the baby you have with Luis? I don't have Marty. I may never have Marty. Well, then there's your answer. So you think I should stay with Chris? I didn't say that. But I do think you should honor the commitment that you made to him. Gwen, you're my best friend. I value your opinion more than anyone's. That's why I need to know where you're coming from. Do you think I should stay married to Chris because of what Teresa has done to your marriage to Ethan? Of course not. The truth, Gwen. I need to know. So you think I'd be advising you to go back to Luis if Teresa weren't the extra person in our marriage? I don't know, maybe your own personal experience is at work here. You've always been such a strong supporter of me and Louise. I love Louise, I know how you feel about him. And maybe you're right, maybe I can't give you a truthful answer here. You know, because I have no objectivity on this subject matter at all. Teresa's hurt you so much. I live with the threat of her 24-7. You know, she has forced me to become a mother tiger when it comes to Ethan and Jane. So... Yes, that probably influences my thinking that you should stay with Chris. But Luis isn't Teresa. Luis and I were in love long before Chris came to Harmony. I know the situation is different. But you have to understand I've become very protective of the institution of marriage. And I'm sorry I'm not telling you what you want to hear. It's all right. I, I just don't know what to do. When it if I leave Chris to be with Luis, it would be more than deserting him. I would be walking out on our little family. Uh, you have a child with Luis, too. That's what Luis said, but Marty isn't here. What if he were? What if Luis or someone else finds him and brings him home? I'd be the happiest person in the world. What would you do about your situation then? Who would you want to be with, Chris or Luis? I don't know how you would choose then.